Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick demo about GitHub pages. So first of all, what are GitHub pages? So GitHub pages are public web pages for users, organizations, and repositories that are freely hosted on GitHub's github.io domain. You can also add a custom domain name of your choice on these websites which you host on GitHub. So I'm going to give you a demo about how to host a static website on GitHub pages. And also I'm going to show you how you can add a custom domain name with your GitHub hosting. So for that, what you need is you need to have a valid GitHub account. And the second thing is you need to have the code for your static website. So you can see here in this folder, I have this uh, HTML code and you need to make sure that in the root directory of your code, you have this index.html. So this is important. You need to have this index.html in your root directory. So let's say I'm going to just uh, see this uh, index.html in a browser and you can see it looks like this. So this website I want to host on GitHub. Let's see how we can do it. So first of all, you need to go to GitHub and then sign in with your GitHub credentials. And once you are logged into your GitHub account, you need to create a new repository here. So you can create a new repository by clicking this start a project button, or you can click this green button here, which says new repository. So I'm going to click on this new uh, repository button. Now in here, you need to give the repository name. So because my website name will be Linux for life. So that's why I'm giving the name here, Linux for life. Okay. So in my case, the repository name is Linux for life. You can give any repository name, whatever you like. Description is optional. So you can leave it as it is and make sure that public is selected here and you just need to click on create repository. So now your repository is created and you will see here three ways of uploading your HTML code on this repository. Now, if you are familiar with Git, then you can follow these instruction or these instruction in order to upload your code on your repository. And I have already made a video on how to use Git and GitHub on your Windows operating system. And I will put the link in the description if you want to see how to use Git in order to upload your files onto GitHub. So what we are going to do is we are going to follow all these commands and push our code onto GitHub. So first of all, we will uh, use this git init command. Make sure that you have git installed on your system on which you are working and go to the directory where all of your HTML files are there, right? And then on Windows operating system, you can just right click and then click on uh, git bash here. So just click on git bash here, which is going to open the command line. And then you just need to give uh, this command git init and then press enter, which is going to initialize the git on this repository. And then I'm going to run a git status command to see the status. And you can see all the files and folders are shown in red because they are not added to git. So for adding these files and folders to git, you can just write git add and then dot. Okay. So just write git add and dot and then press enter, which is going to add all these files into git. You can run git status once again to see if all these files are added or not. So you can see everything in green. That means all the files are added. Now the next command is you just need to write git commit minus M and then you can give a small commit comment inside these double quotes and you can write first commit and then after that give a space and then give a dot here which means all the files and directories will be committed and once again when you run a git status you will see everything is committed so you just need to push your code into your repository now once again go to the github and then you need to run this command, which says git remote add origin and then URL to your repository. So I'm going to just copy this command and then paste it 
into the terminal and then press enter which is going to add this remote origin to your local git repository and now in order to push your code into your repository what you need to do is you need to run this command which is git push minus u origin master and it's going to ask your uh, github username and password so i'm going to give this command and then after some time it's going to ask your username your username is the one which is shown here after github so you can see github.com for slash p knowledge is my username here okay so you just need to give the username here and then press enter and this will ask you your github password so just provide your github password from here and then press ok and you can see all the files will be pushed to your github repository now so once this command is successful we will once again go to our github project here and we will click on the project which we have created so just click on the project which you have created and you will see all the files will be uploaded to your github project so whatever files which are here you will be able to see all the files and directory in your github repository now once you have transferred all the files on your github repository you can just go to the settings here so just click on settings and then scroll down until it says github pages so by default none is set here so you just need to uh, click on this uh, drop down menu and then select master branch here and then save the changes so once you click on save you will be able to see this message which says your site is ready to be published at this URL. So you just need to right click on this link and uh, you can uh, open this link in the new tab. And once you do this, you can see your website is live on this URL, which is your username.github.io forward slash whatever is your repository name now how you can add your own custom url for example in my case i'm going to use linuxforlife.com instead of uh, this url which is provided by github for us so for that you need to buy a domain for you uh, from the services like godaddy or any other services which is available in your area so I prefer to use uh, GoDaddy and here you can uh, search your domain and buy your domain uh, for yourself. Now a .com website price on GoDaddy or any other services ranges from 10 to $15 per year. So it's around $1 per month uh, you have to pay for uh, the domain to use. Also there are some uh, free domain uh, providing services for a limited time like freenome.com. Here you can uh, find your domain name, for example, Linux for uh, life and then press enter. And here you will be able to see uh, the options available for you. So for example, Linux for life .tk is available, .ml, .ga, .cf and other uh, extensions are available and here uh, they are shown. So in order to get them, you can just uh, press on get it now button and then uh, go to checkout and on the right hand side you will be able to see for how uh, many months you can use this domain for free so you can use this domain for free for 12 months and after that you need to pay uh, some price for using this domain okay so you can choose any of the services available in your area and once you have uh, bought your domain name what you need to do is you need to go to the dns management of your uh, domain and you will be able to see these kind of records on GoDaddy at least they look like this and then you need to change the A records in the DNS management of this domain now github has some custom domain IPs and you can search them by just searching for github custom domain IPs and the first link which will appear here will be from github and when you scroll down you will be able to see these uh, custom domain IPs, right? So you need to add all these uh, IPs in your A record. So I'm going to just copy this IP and then I'm going to go to the settings of uh, DNS of my uh, domain. And then I'm going to uh, just change the A record here. So on GoDaddy, I can just click on this added button here. 
and here where it says point to you need to paste this IP address and then uh, you can change the seconds to 600 seconds and then save it so this IP address is saved once again I'm going to copy the second IP address from here go to the settings and from here I can also add uh, these settings so I'm going to choose the a record from here and in the TTL I'm going to choose custom and I will provide a 600 second here and in the host I can write at the rate and uh, in the point two I will paste the second IP address which I have copied so I'm going to save it in the same way I can add uh, two more IP addresses so a at the rate and then uh, custom 600 and I'm going to copy the third IP address from here and then uh, paste here save and now the last one so once again a records at the rate custom 600 and in the point two I'm going to copy the fourth IP address and then paste it here and then I'm going to save it so once you have added all these IPs from uh, the github you need to go to your github repository and then go to the root directory of your github repository and here you need to create one extra file so you can click on create new file and the file name will be c name all in capital so just give this name to your file which is c name all in capital without any space and on the first line of your CNAME file, you need to give the URL of your website. So for example, my website domain name is linuxforlife.com. So I'm going to just copy this domain name and paste it on the first line of this CNAME file. And then don't give any space or any line break here. You just need to scroll down and then commit this file. So I'm going to just click on commit, which is going to commit this file. And you will be able to see this CNAME file which we have created and once you click on this you will be able to uh, see your domain name which you have added here and once you have done this thing we are finished so we can uh, just open this URL on a web browser so instead of uh, this URL which is provided by github for us we are going to use the new URL which is linuxforlife.com and then I'm going to press enter and you can see this URL is working now. So my website is hosted on github.io and now I'm using the custom domain name for this website which is hosted on GitHub. Now if you are using some other domain services other than GoDaddy, it may take some time for your changes to take effect. So you need to wait for some time and just retry after some time and then you will be able to see the result which I'm seeing right now. So in this way, you can add a custom domain name to your GitHub website which you host on github.io. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe and bye for now.